than me. Lead. Lead. Because this mohawk ain't working out on TV. Stand by me. <laughs> Harry hey. said stand by. That's our cue. <laughs> that it's time to chill out to chill on out. the chill spot. That's right. For a few minutes. Yep. Um, so, hey, welcome back. Um, it's August the 14th, and this is actually the last um, segment of heat-related um, safety tips. And it's all about protecting yourself, because if you do not take care of yourself, who's going to take care of our elders? If we don't, who will? That's right. That's Pardon right. me, i got to move off stage <laughs> just for a moment. So and I'm back. And Looking, she's back. Oh, Woo. Got my little khakis on. Yep. My not shirt. <laughs> I'm so cute. So first of all, you want to drink cool, non-alcoholic beverages. Here we go again with the alcohol. <laughs> I guess the alcohol leads to dehydration. It does. It right? Does. I learned it that does. in the desert survival mm -hmm. test because yep. When you had to rate the things you would use to get out of this out. desert airplane mm -hmm. crash situation, yep. uh, a fifth of bourbon was on there, and I'm like, well, I'm ta tackling that first off. That was first. <laughs> you know, it sounds like I'm an alcoholic and I barely drink, so I guess I shouldn't act up. And so remember to cool. drink um, cool water. You do not want to um, get really extremely at cold um, items to drink because they can cause um, cramps and the cramps can be very um, severe. One cramp is brain freeze and that we yes. all know how that feels. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Excuse me. And then you want to make sure you get plenty of rest. Um, take a cool um, shower or bath or even a sponge bath just to cool your body um, temperature down. Um, you want to seek a air condition um, environment. You want to get out of the heat. Try to wear light um, weighted clothing. Yeah. I know that may be kind of hard, but just try to wear yeah, but something Yeah, you must cool. always see when you see people working outdoors, mm -hmm. you know, gardening, landscape, they have like a long sleeve mm -hmm. khaki or a real linen-y, lightweight. Yeah. Uh, lightweight to do it. Uh-huh. And then, um, if possible, remain um, indoors. And uh, do That's not... what I do. I just remain <laughs> indoors. You don't get heat exhaustion, stroke. Mm -hmm. What were some of the others and, we covered? Uh, exhaustion, stroke. Stress. 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 Yeah. And uh, try not to over-gauge in any stringless um, activities. You know, play it cool. Don't be like Gary and go on a bicycle Ten miles. trip and... End up getting too sick. too old for that. He's the same age I am. <laughs> He's a week older than I am, as yeah. a matter of fact. So just just take care of yourself. Um, try to remember all these safety tips. Um, you know, you guys. I don't think are... I could balance a bicycle anymore. I don't think at I could my age. Either. He's out riding my his wife. She's our age too. She rides like the wind. I'll tell you. Yeah. I feel like a lazy bum. <laughs> bum bum log on the chill spot. <laughs> All right. Well, so, take care of yourself. Yes. And yes, then when we, yes. you know, CNA Fest is two weeks mm -hmm. down the road and we're going to have to take care of ourselves there. So yes. these yes, have all been are. great tips and leading up to how to care for your community, mm -hmm. how to care for yourself in the yeah. heat, how to care for your residents in the heat, how to be yeah. on the lookout for your neighbor. My gosh, we did a great we job did. here. I'll we tell did. you. Anything else we want to share today? Any words um, of wisdom that... It's not heat related. I got a good story. If any, if we got time. We got time, Gary. Yeah. I want to talk about being nice for just a minute. Being nice with the residents and the elders and the clients we work with. Yeah. Not too long ago, I carried in a box of donuts for um, a meeting I was having with some CNAs. I usually come bearing some gifts and a resident nice looking gentleman rolled up in his wheelchair to me and he said uh, those donuts i said yes sir they're donuts he said could i have a donut well you know i grew up in this business and you're supposed to go ask somebody if it's okay if he can have a donut <laughs> well not me you know me i'm non-compliant as the residents are so i'm like sure what kind of donut you want i like that one i got it out Slipped it to him. 
I had another meeting in two hours, so I bring in a new box of donuts. Here he comes. Can I have a donut? I'm thinking, you can have one. Yes, you can have a donut. So I gave him the donut. A couple hours later, he comes back, got any more of them donuts. And luckily, there was what I thought was luckily, anyway, there were two nurses standing there, not five feet away, and I thought, okay, here's my out. I'll ask the nurses if he can have a donut. I said, this gentleman would like a donut. Can he have a donut? And you know why I wished I'd never asked him? Because I said no. Here's not, not just that. I kind of expected him to say no. They said, no, you can't have a donut. You're a diabetic. Mm. <laughs> now, why is that necessary? It wasn't. That was totally uncalled for. So, if I'm in your building and I got donuts... I'm going to sneak them to your residence so they don't get yelled at if that's what's <laughs> going to happen. Right. Be kind. It's still their choice whether they want that donut or <laughs> that's not. That's what I thought. If they got the choice to fall out of bed or the choice to elope, then they got the choice to eat a donut. That's true. You know, I mean, you can always offer them this if is our, your healthy If snack. our members would help me, we could build the best nursing home in the United States of America and that's be true. CNA owned. And we could give the residents what they want to eat, and we can give them what they want to do. And mm -hmm. I know a maintenance van one time that held, had a gentleman's club. What a phenomenal idea! I wish oh, I could that find would be Ryan. Awesome. It was so good. They he he did it himself. He orchestrated mm -hmm. the whole thing. They had a gentleman's club, and I mean, he they get cigars. They might read That's porn cool. magazines one month they might see a dirty flick or they might read the bible you just never knew what the gentleman's club was going to do That's but, a good idea. but ryan i mean it was phenomenal and they loved it mm. the residents the gentlemen loved it so anyway be kind and we yeah. will see you back here on august 16th and yep. until then remember you matter and get you those donuts matter. <laughs>